Hey everybody, Barbara here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a faux tortoiseshell background paper so you can make a pair of these cool glasses too. I'll be using the Geek is Chic Glasses Dynamics, some safety orange cardstock, the cheetah background, black licorice hybrid ink, craft dye ink, a Copic marker in a dark color, sponge and applicator, and glossy accents. To start with, I'm going to ink up my cheetah background with the black lic licorice hybrid ink. You don't have to be too particular about how you ink it up as long as you get it mostly covered. For this technique it really um, doesn't matter that much. Then I'm going to stamp it on my cardstock and for these rubber backgrounds I find that I get a better impression if I put my cardstock on top of my stamp and then use a piece of copy paper to um, help me rub the ink onto the cardstock. And there you go. Now I'm going to use my craft ink and my sponge applicator and I'm going to sponge pretty heavily across the bottom of this um, piece of pattern paper. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I might want to use um, the unsponged part for something else later on. So I'm just going to sponge enough um, so that I can cut out the uh, glasses dynamics. Now that I've finished sponging, I'm going to take my Copic marker, it's in a dark uh, gray, and just add some more dots and dashes, just randomly filling in some of the larger um, openings between the cheetah spots. Now I'm going to go uh, to my Vagabond and cut out the large um, eyeglasses. I'll be right back. And there they are. How cool is that? I'm going to sponge some more, make them a little bit darker, and add a few more dots and dashes. And that's it for that. To make the smaller pair, I'm not going to stamp anything. I'm just going to take a little scrap of safety orange paper and just dot all over with my Copic marker. Just dots and dashes randomly until it's fairly well covered. And I'm going to sponge it just like I did the larger ones with the craft ink fairly heavily. And now I'm going to go cut that out. Are they not adorable? totally geeky, right? Okay, I see a few places I want to add a little bit more of my Copic marker. And now it's time to add the glossy accents. 
just a decent coat on this this coat. I'm going to um, do another coat later after this dries. And that, that second one will really make a big difference. The first one kind of soaks in a little bit and it really dries pretty fast. And it's not as shiny as I want. So the second one really makes it shine up. Just using the point of the um, applicator to apply. Push that back out of the way and start on the little one. This one is a little harder to do since it's so tiny, but um, it's doable. If you try not to get too heavy um, an application on this first coat, then um, the second one really, really brings it out. Now I'm going to set them aside to dry, and after they dry, I'll bring them back and put the second coat on. The nonstick craft sheet is great for applying um, glossy accents because nothing will stick. And I also find that um, this divider that comes with the uh, ATG tape is also non totally nonstick. Oops, that little devil flipped over. And there he goes again. But he really is almost dry at this point, and it'll be fine once I get the other coat on. Now I'm going to start my card. I'm using steel gray cardstock, cut A2 size with the top fold. This is sweet tooth cardstock on which I have spread some embossing paste with the um, petal circle stencil. This is sour apple cardstock stamped with grid background, and this is raspberry cardstock stamped with. First mark and um, stripes background. I have a circle cut with a stitched circle stacks dynamics, and the sentiment there is from Geek is Chic. And there's a finished pair of glasses that I already had. So I'm going to assemble my um, colored cardstock stripe now. I'm just going to adhere the pink stri strip to the green. This card is for my favorite things, Wednesday Sketch Challenge number 191. And now I'm going to put some foam on the back of the embossed panel before I pop it up on the card base. Remove the backing. and carefully apply. Okay, I've already got some foam on the back of the green, so I'm just going to remove the backing from that and put it um, towards the top of the card. Lining it up with the white panel edges. Now I also have some tape on the back of the green circle, so I'm going to remove that backing and apply it towards the bottom of the card. And now the sentiment. I'm going to put it on kind of a wonky angles. This was stamped with first mark on steel gray cardstock and heat embossed with white embossing powder. I already have some tape on the back of my glasses. I'm going to remove the backing and um, 
adhere these to the colored cardstock strip. And there you have it. I just love the tortoiseshell look. For the inside, I stamped a sentiment from Clearly Sentimental Birthday Chalkboard Greetings, and I'm going to put that on the inside. And that's it.